Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to install SQL Server 2016 Analysis Services, also known as SSAS. And the prerequisites are number one, .NET Framework 4.0, number two, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Redistributables. Let's get into the installation. This is my server where I'm going to install um, SQL Server 2016 Analysis Services. You have a couple options to install uh, SSAS 2016. One is that you can install it as new SQL Server standalone installation. For that, if you don't have SQL Server already installed, SQL Server engine installed on this, uh, uh, in case of production on this server, then you have to pay license. But if you have SQL Server uh, engine installed and you want to add a analysis services as a feature, then you don't have to pay um, uh, license for analysis services. I'll be installing, just adding a feature to my existing installation, my existing SQL Server 2016 instance. So click on installation. This is my media. All you need to do is open your media, right click on setup and run as admin. And this landing page will appear. You need to click on installation and click on new SQL Server standalone installation or add feature to an existing installation. You can skip this part as well, but if you wanted to include SQL Server product updates, you need to let it run. Click next. It's installing some set of files. As I said before, you can perform the installation as a new installation of SQL Server 2016, but I'll be adding it to my existing SQL Server instance 2016 right here. This is my uh, SQL Server instance. Click Next. And these are the features already installed on this server. As you can see that I have all these features installed and reporting services. Right now my intention is to install analysis services. So I'm going to click on analysis services. You can see your prerequisites right here. In my case, they are already installed on my server. Click next. This is the account that is going to run uh, SSAS services. Uh, I would recommend and also Microsoft recommends that uh, uh, you use separate account for each SQL Server service. In my case, I'll be using a separate account. If you decide to use separate account, then you need to have a password uh, if you wanted to do it during the installation. You can always go back to the services or configuration of SQL Server 2016 and change it then. But since I have the account already, I'm going to change that. Click OK and provide the password right here. The best practice is that you uh, keep the SQL Server browser services disabled nowadays. Uh, but uh, what browser services does is basically redirect if you have multiple instances coming connection coming from DNS and it redirects which instance basically you are trying to access. So in that case, browser services needs to run and it'll help you to uh, do the name resolution uh, in multiple SQL Server instance on one server. Click Next. So these are uh, very important uh, to understand the concept of uh, uh, server mode, analysis service, uh, server mode. One is multidimensional and data mining mode. If you are going to uh, install analysis services and going to use uh, for cube, dimension, and fact uh, full threaded, uh, I would say, analysis services, you should install multidimensional and data mining uh, mode. This is the OLAP mode. And the second mode right here is uh, tabular mode. 
this is simple basically and it's a, a transactional mode and uh, if you're dealing with directly with the tables and columns you should install tabular mode power pivot mode that's even simpler than tabular mode if you it used to be add-on on excel but uh, now um, it comes with the excel so if you're browsing your analysis services uh, using excel uh, you can use uh, pi power pivot mo mode and if it has installed then you can uh, access the data in excel uh, using power pivot mode and you can do your modeling in excel uh, you always should use add current user and if you have the analysis services group that the users especially um, DBA user or whoever is going to manage this server you should add th that there right now data directories in my case I don't have a separate data drive and log drive I would recommend that uh, on each service you should have a separate data directory and log directory uh, right here I have just the C so I'm gonna leave it uh, by default but you can change these data directories and log files uh, later but in case of production you have to turn the services off in order to move these directories so um, for production planning uh, you should have the data directory and log files separate for analysis services and should configure during the installation so you don't have to bring down your services and do that later click next this is the summary right here and click install installation is going to take a little bit time so I'll be pausing my video once installation is completed I'll be back all right as you can see that analysis services installation is completed we're gonna close this and I'll minimize this and we'll use SQL Server Management Studio to connect to Analysis Services Instance to see if everything is okay. All right, as you, as you can see that um, SQL Server Management Studio is popped up right here. And we need to select analysis services instead of uh, database engine so click on this drop down menu and click on analysis services and you can give a tech brother SQL or uh, whatever your server is if you have installed in default mode but click on here you can also browse that and go under analysis services and this is Again, Tech Brothers SQL. This is just taking the name of machine since we installed SQL uh, analysis services uh, to an existing installation of SQL Server instance, and that was uh, the default instance. Click OK. Click Connect. As you can see, that um, you are connected with the analysis services right here. Everything looks good. So that's it for the installation. I hope this helps.